We recently shared the astonishing discovery of a colossal ancient pyramid, Cholula. Not only the largest ancient pyramid believed to have ever been found on Earth, but also the biggest ancient structure ever found, just like that of the Bosnian pyramid, long assumed a mound of peculiar shape. This truly huge structure was buried under often meters of fertile earth. Some claim it was buried to conceal it from invaders, such as David Carballo, an archaeologist at Boston University, who explained to BBC Future, quote, it was abandoned sometime in the 7th or 8th century CE. The Chilateca had a newer pyramid temple located nearby, which the Spaniards destroyed, end quote. While geologists argue that over the centuries, or indeed millennia it has stood, the mud bricks its exterior was created from have fertilized and naturally grown over this huge structure, earth which still hides much of its stature from the world to this day. Yet this makes the discovery no less of interest, if anything, it makes it all the more intriguing. Why not fully excavate the site? Are there things being hidden there? What was the purpose of such an astonishing building being made? Was it as a tribute to a deity? Or are we looking at an enormous tomb? Like the claims that circle Giza's three great structures year upon year, are their treasures still buried beneath, just waiting to be found? Interestingly, there does indeed exist an underworld labyrinth beneath this great site. An entire town-sized maze of ancient tunnels littered beneath the site, again a feature akin to Giza. Yet any mention of sarcophagi, treasures, tombs, or any other interesting discoveries, local archaeologists remain curiously silent, regardless of this structure's clear past importance. According to Geophys, the adobe brick pyramid stands 55 meters or 180 feet above the surrounding plain, far shorter than the 137 meters or 449 feet of the Great Pyramid Cheops in Giza but also much wider, measuring 450 by 450 meters, or 1480 by 1480 feet, versus Cheops at 230 by 230 meters, or 750 by 750 feet. Yet we must not forget to mention the astonishing precision present within Giza, seemingly absent this nonetheless gigantic structure, which we find highly compelling. We recently covered the so-called Inca Road, an ancient stone pathway that stretches an astonishing 25,000 miles across Peru, Chile, and far beyond. Linking countless ancient, as yet unexplained ruins, this enormous ancient road was carved straight through solid cliff faces, along near vertical rock faces, and is an astonishing example of ancient architecture. Although currently claimed as being Incan, and conveniently often overlooked by mainstream academic study, along with the sites it connects, it is clearly an example of building capability far out of the reach of Incan civilization. The Huaca del Sul, an adobe brick temple that, regardless of the clear feat of its construction, along with the currently recognized number of builders involved, 
is regardless of these facts, still stubbornly claimed as having been built by the so-called Mochi civilization between 100 CE to 800 CE. Located upon the northern coast of Peru, the temple is one of several ruins found near the volcanic peak of Cerro Blanco. The other major ruin at the site is the nearby Huaca de la Luna, a better preserved but smaller temple. According to academic opinion, by 450 CE, eight different stages of construction had been completed on the Huaca del Sul. The technique was additive. New layers of bricks were laid directly on top of the old, hence large quantities of bricks were required for the construction. Archaeologists have estimated that the Huaca del Sul was composed of over 130 million adobe bricks and was the largest pre-Columbian adobe structure built in the Americas. The number of different maker's marks on the bricks suggests that over a hundred different communities contributed to the construction of the Huacas. Yet, regardless of the clearly astonishing ancient feat that this structure was, largely attributed to be the remains of an ancient pyramid, the facts surrounding the past true purpose of this structure is merely ignored in favor of an attribution to a more modern ancestor. For if it is indeed noted as being that of an ancient pyramid, like many alternative, independent, and often nicknamed fringe researchers have, it would open the door to some controversial questions. One in particular being why would a civilization located at the claimed time within history build pyramids? Just like those upon the African continent, namely upon the Giza Plateau. Why would a culture that had supposedly never met ancient Egyptians just like those ruins found all over Guatemala, and indeed South America, have built these enigmatic structures purely by coincidence? It seems that the evidence has mounted over the years in opposition to such opinion, and these ancient ruins are simply improbable to have merely come about by chance or coincidence, and were indeed once built with full intentions that are now lost to the eons. Who built the Huaca del Sul? Why did they build it? It is undoubtedly an astonishing ancient ruin, one which we find highly compelling.